Number 61. Thermography is a technique for measuring radiant heat and detecting variations in surface temperatures that may be medically, environmentally, or militarily meaningful. Letter A. What is the percent increase in the rate of heat transfer by radiation from a given area at a temperature of 34 degrees Celsius compared with that at 33, such as on a person's skin? So uh, anytime you're talking about radiant heat, all right, these are the two formulas that come to mind. Now we're trying to find the percent increase. Now the problem is that you might be thinking, well, let me take, let me use this one to calculate it. That one actually probably would not be the best one to use. I'm going to use this one instead. Okay. Now we realize that the power, aka the rate, right, of heat transfer is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity of the object multiplied by the area over which that radiation is occurring multiplied then by the temperature of the object in Kelvin's raised to the fourth. So if I want to find the percent change, I can do this in a couple of ways. I think the best way might be to just find the fractional change, and then from there we can easily find the percent. So in other words, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the uh, fine or the uh, – it does, well, to say it's final, it would be a little misleading. But I'm going to say I'm going to find the power, um, uh, the rate of energy transfer at 34 degrees Celsius, okay, so all of these values should be at 34 degrees Celsius. And then basically compare that to the rate. Okay, so divide this whole thing by then the power at 33, all right, degrees Celsius. Okay, this would be sigma EAT at 33 now. But what do you what do you notice about the Stefan Boltzmann constant? That's constant, so that just goes bye-bye. The emissivity object, that hasn't changed, so that goes bye-bye. The area of the object hasn't changed, so that goes bye-bye. So guess what this works down to? So this is just the power at 34 degrees Celsius divided by the power at 33 degrees Celsius is equal to then simply the temperature at 34 degrees Celsius raised to the fourth power divided by the temperature at 33 degrees Celsius raised to the fourth power. And that's it, right? All I got to do is now find this, and then we can easily find the percent. So remember, we have to have this in Kelvin. So simply take 273 and add to that 34 to find the Kelvin temperature. So this works out to be 307 raised to the fourth. And then the temperature at 33 should be one degree less, right, than the 307. So this should be 306 raised to the fourth. And just calculate this now. So this is 307 raised to the fourth divided by 303 raised to the fourth. And what do you get? You get 1.05... 1. 1. 3, 9 or so. Now, basically, this is how many times it has the, the rate of uh, heat transfer via radiation has gone up. So if, if it goes up 1.0539, then, my friends, all you have to do is basically subtract out 1 from this, and then you get your fraction, your decimal, 0. 0.539, and that's the decimal value. Okay, you can convert that into percent now by multiplying that by 100, so 5.39%. Okay? That's like saying this, right? Just, just think about it simply here. Pretend that I tell you we're going to take 115 and divide it by 100. What does that work out to be? Well, it works out to be 1.15, right? And then I said, just subtract 1 from this, so you get 0 0.15, and then convert that into the percent, so we would get 15%, right? Now notice, if I started at 100 and I went to 115, by what percent did I increase by? Oh, 15. Okay, so there's how it would work with a simple example. So that takes care of letter A, and then how about letter B? What are they asking now? What is the percent increase in the rate of heat transfer? So 34 compared to 20. So now we just got to do the same thing, right? But just with, so it's P, we'll call it P2 over P1. So this is going to be 34 degrees uh, Celsius, which is going to be 307 again. Right, and then divide it by now 20 in in uh, 34. I don't know what I just said because I'm rushing through this. I apologize. 34 degrees Celsius is 307 degrees Kelvin. We already basically calculated that before, and then 20 uh, degrees Celsius converted into Kelvin should be 293, and that's raised to the fourth. So simply find that. So 307 raised to the fourth divided then by 293 raised to the fourth, and we get 1.205 now. So 1.2 1.205. So guess what percent this works out to be? This works out to be then 20.5%. Okay. And there you go. Voila.
not too bad. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps. Please help us out. Tell your friends. All right. Maybe they might be in the same class as you, or even if they're not in the same class, they might still find additional questions with detailed worked out solutions helpful. All right. So we appreciate it very much. Thanks for keeping us in mind. Take care.